Hello there, my name is Ismaus and uh, welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and uh, today we're just doing something simple uh, we're going to be talking about soft shadows in Blender so uh, without further ado, let's just dive in and uh, talk about them so I'm using Blender 2.8 and uh, 2.81 where the user interface has been changed a bit and uh, you might find that uh, some of the settings I'm using here might be different from yours if you're using an earlier version of Blender uh, especially Blender 2.8 Eight, uh, instead of 0.81 and uh, anything up so yeah let's look at uh, soft shadows so just going to add uh, a plane here to catch uh, the shadows and uh, let me use a Suzanne monkey because it has a few details here that uh, will look nice in the shadows I'll go to rendered mode here so that we can look and examine the shadow uh, the best way to achieve sh soft shadows is by using an area light because that's kind of uh, Kind of mimics are uh, the real life uh, lights how they behave as point point uh, or smaller lights produce more shadow produce sharp shadows uh, than larger lights. So let's go on and uh, change the light uh, to area and uh, you can see I'm just going to change uh, the shape here to square so that is easier for me to to change the size uh, by just using one value instead of uh, playing with uh, more than one value here. So I'm just going to switch this to square so that I can play around with the value here. You can see that uh, when I increase uh, the scale of the square, uh, I can see of the area light, I can see our shadow uh, becomes a bit softer. When I shrink it, it becomes sharper and sharper. You can see there. So by default, uh, uh, soft shadows are turned on uh, if you're using Blender 2.81. Uh, previous versions of Blender, uh, you had to turn that on. Uh, but uh, now in Blender 2.81, uh, it comes by default. Uh, you will have soft shadows turned on. Uh, so, But you can see that uh, our soft shadows are not that soft. We are seeing a lot of, I don't know how to call this, banding. Uh, I can see uh, the shadows are kind of banding. You can see the different layers uh, that are being laid over and over to create that softness. So we need more of those layers to kind of create uh, that soft gradient and produce uh, the soft shadow. So there are a few things that uh, determine the softness of or resolution of the shadow. Uh, if you uh, ignore this value here, because this is just uh, the scale of the uh, of the light, which affects the softness and sharpness of the shadow, but I'm just talking about uh, the actual resolution. So this is not how soft, but uh, the resolution, the quality of fidelity of the shadow. Uh, there are three things I've noticed that uh, kind of affect this, and uh, one of them, if we go to our rendered mode, uh, I'm using Eevee here. Uh, uh, Psycho's works completely different from here, but uh, I'm just talking about Eevee here. So uh, if you go under shadows, you can see that by default, we have soft shadows turned on, and uh, if I turn that off, and see, so we got we get uh, the sharp shadows. So the three things that have found to affect uh, the resolution or fidelity of uh, the shadows are uh, one is the cube size, and uh, the second one is high bitrate, and then the uh, viewport or render resolution you have here. So let's first look at uh, the cube size here. You can see it's five to love, and uh, if I drop it to sixty four, you can see how soft uh, the shadows are getting. Uh, if I put it at uh, 4k and see we get that banding even more pronounced it becomes more pronounced so i don't know how this cascade size affects the shadow but uh, it doesn't really i don't see it yeah the the in my trials i haven't seen it affecting the shadow in any way uh, but uh, if you turn on high band sorry high depth bit depth um yeah this option here it should also help with the softness but uh, you don't really see the effect uh, that much. So those, those are the three things that uh, affect the shadows. So you can see even when we increase or reduce the cube size, uh, we're getting this, the soft shadows, but uh, you can still see some jagged edges around there. So to reduce those or to make them more smooth, I found that uh, if you increase the viewport uh, resolution or samples, it will soften uh, those edges. So let's try, let's first drop this to 5 to 11 so that we have those uh, jagged edges and uh, now increase the viewport resolution. Let me try 300. You can see how softer those edges are continuously getting uh, compared. Let me drop this even further to 90. You can see 
this is how it looks at a resolution of 300 300 let me drop it to a resolution of one and you can see it's just really really sharp now at a group of samples of 10 you can see how that goes on increasing 100 now if i drop this to 64 which is the highest or lowest cube size you can see this the shadow becomes even uh, more softer so that's those are the three things uh, that uh, affect uh, the softness of, the, of your shadows in your scene uh, one is uh, the cube size uh, the second one is the uh, samples uh, one is for the viewport obviously just viewing it here and then the others uh, here the render sample are just when you are rendering uh, the actual image so if so if i drop this to one and uh, have this at six at 130 if i try rendering this you can see i still have sharp uh, shadows are because of my render resolution so you need to make sure that uh, they are the same or at least the render resolution is a bit higher than uh, your viewport render resolution if you want to get higher fidelity or high resolution uh, shadows uh, the third thing uh, is a uh, bitrate and maybe the fourth that what could be the fourth is uh, the size of, of your area light so if I put this to 0.1 and see how sharp this gets but at the edges you can see it's sharp but uh, we still have that smooth non-jagged uh, edges uh, that we have when we have low result low, low sam samples uh, for our render now if i put this to something like 100 it becomes even soft too soft you barely see uh, the the shadows yeah so that's it for uh, soft shadows how you make soft shadows in blender can see if I added something like a wall here how that would be affected you can see how those edges look uh, you can see we have some light bleeding uh, here so if you to reduce on that you can just select the light and go under shadows and turn on contact shadows and uh, play around with the thickness here a few settings settings I think it's the distance yeah I think it's the distance And then some play with the thickness and uh, the distance are uh, these two uh, so that you eliminate uh, that bleeding so by default let me reset this you can see we have that bleeding uh, but uh, if you play with the thickness and then uh, the distance you can get rid of uh, that bleeding and uh, sometimes it also helps uh, say you have instead of this being a plane you can see we also we're also getting some bleeding in different areas so to to get rid of that uh, I found that uh, if you add something like a solidify modifier increase the thickness just a bit you can also get rid of uh, some of those issues and so uh, as I said um, EV is just uh, a quick way to render things so you might have to do some unconventional things to uh, get, of, get rid of those artifacts that you might find uh, yeah, but uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, that's how you render soft shadows in Blender 2.81. Thank you.